a summary. Uh, one of them is like, do, do you go JavaScript all the way or, or do you go declarative? I don't think there's one answer, right? It's just how you prefer to code, but find a good balance. Yeah. Sometimes the answer is not just about us as developers, it's like who's gonna maintain it after we go or after we leave. Uh, another one is consolidate. So many times you come back to your page, as you said, you can have multiple true actions on, on a certain uh, event and then think about can you consolidate this into one event or one action instead of having the 35 or one item, right? Or if you need to use global pages as well, I mean, that, that can be helpful too. So you can, your, your listeners can be running on global pages, so you, you can act on them as well. But, uh, minimize custom code, but again, don't be afraid to use it. it have standards, structure it well, and of course, look, anything we do, think about security, right? So that applies even on a JavaScript level or dynamic action. Anything we code, make sure we keep it or we address the security part. Um, I'm happy to take questions now, Thais, anything else that came along. Uh, I added resources here. Uh, that it's, there's lots of interesting videos you can uh, see. For example, if Office Spain had a dynamic action video, I think recently, probably this year, some point, uh, I highly recommend checking out sample dynamic uh, action application that come as a part of your uh, dynamic uh, part of your uh, package apps. Uh, Jackie did a, a great uh, webinar and also a presentation on dynamic action. Uh, Yuga has uh, an application, so you can check them one out as well. And pretty much, if you happen to be, if you're lucky enough to be in San Francisco this week, I'm sure you want to work local as well. Uh, enjoy the good crowd and and, and group, group, heaps of great news coming from Apex uh, camp, I guess, and, and Joel and the team, right? Yeah, um, and I don't think is there was there anything new with dynamic actions uh, in the 19.2 release? I know they had that really cool faceted search region, but I don't know if they. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say uh, that. That's one of the awesome points that I forget to bring up. Right? Why I love it personally. Like I never heard. I, and I'm like challenging you, Tyson. Can you remember any bugs in dynamic action like framework or, or feature? Man? I never heard anyone saying there's a glitch with dynamic action. Right? Or maybe we didn't notice, but it's that good and that stable. Right? Which just proves the point. Right? That's probably one of my personal favorites. Right? Is like I never heard of bug in dynamic action. Right. Yeah, so I, I think um, I think the platform at large does a really good job, uh, mm -hmm. you know, making sure it's stable. Um, uh, what I was going to say is that uh, oh, one of the things that the Apex team was talking about implementing. Now this is just conjecture; it's it's nothing that uh, you know they agreed to implement, but I know they're investigating. Um, one of the desires from a lot of uh, dynamic action users is that um, you can define a condition uh, on your dynamic action, uh, but it can only be defined once at the very root level. Uh, and so sometimes you might want to have several different actions fire based on different conditions. And at the moment, um, if you have several different conditions, uh, you have to make several different dynamic actions. I know the team's looking at exploring uh, if we could be able to put conditions on each individual action uh, so that we can do some consolidation of our, our dynamic actions for larger pages. But even, you know, that being said, uh, kind of reiterating one of Lino's points, sometimes when your pages start getting pretty complex and you have a lot of dynamic actions and there's just a, a lot of complexity going on, again, don't be scared to take a look at writing some custom JavaScript because in some cases, uh, you know, it's actually better for you just to, take a step back, learn a little bit of JavaScript, and kind of write it manually. But again, don't make that your, your default response to JavaScript solutions. Okay, and, and another one that I would like to have in, in dynamic actions is if we, can, if we could name, or, or at least add a little bit description to what actions are actually doing, like each true action, for example, instead of just set value, set value, set value, that we can say set value to something, or set value to something like additional, descriptive parameter to it. Yeah, and then uh, we got one question that came in that said, uh, dynamic actions uh, created through the interface kind of produce JavaScript. Uh, and if there are many of them, is there a way to uh, get what is created behind the scenes via the interface? Ah, so I think the question is, 
uh, is there a way to, to look at what um, Apex has generated for, uh, or what dynamic actions have been generated or, or what they look like on the page? Oh, this one, I'd probably sit more with you than with me. Oh, sure. Uh, so it, yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, it, Apex, when you create a dynamic action, ultimately it, it yields and it, it generates uh, a JavaScript on the page. And um, if you inspect this page, um, normally towards the very bottom, uh, you'll see that there's kind of this like uh, kind of array looking thing down towards the bottom of the page. If, I would guess it's probably either that one. Yep. E yes, I think. Um, or maybe it's one up above. Either way, um, it is generated on the page and um, uh, you can look at them, but I don't know if there's a ton of benefit in trying. Ah, oh, there it is. Uh, you can see there's that init DA event list. And you can try to kind of go through that, but it's maybe not the most legible thing ever. But uh, it is there, and uh, you can look at it. But uh, that being said, I think that's all we have time for today. Uh, thank you, everyone, so much for your time. If you have any follow-up questions, please do not uh, hesitate to email us. Um, you can uh, send it to Lino Shield at uh, skillbuilders.com, Tyson.Jugle at skillbuilders.com, or even quite simply, Dave at skillbuilders.com. We are uh, happy to uh, help you wherever we please, or uh, we're happy to help you whenever you need uh, any assistance. Uh, also, if you're looking for any hosting needs, do consider uh, skillbuilders.com uh, as your platform as a service. We'd be happy to be help you with that or any other consulting uh, or mentoring options. Please enjoy the rest of your day. See you all uh, in the future. Thank you, everybody.